The K-300P or Bastion P is a Russian mobile coastal defense missile system. The P letter in the designation denotes mobile. This coastal defense missile system is known in the West as SSC-5 or Stooge. Development began in the 1990s. The Bastion P is in service with the Russian Armed Forces. First three systems were delivered to the Russian military in 2010. These are in service with the Black Sea Fleet. Latter additional missile system were delivered to the Black Sea Fleet and the Northern Fleet. This coastal defense system has been exported to Syria, two systems, and Vietnam, two systems. The main role of the Bastion P is to engage various surface ships. It can also engage carrier battle groups, convoys or landing craft. In some cases missiles fired from this system can target surface targets. The Bastion P launcher carries two P-800 Onyx slash Yakant SSN-26 Strobile anti-ship cruise missiles. These have a range of 300 km with high-low flight trajectory and 120 km with low-low flight trajectory. It is worth noting that the same missile was used as a basis for the BrahMos cruise missile. The missile has a two-stage propulsion system. It uses solid-fuel rocket booster for initial acceleration and liquid-fuel ramjet for sustained supersonic cruise. The booster is ejected by the airflow after it has burned out. The warhead weights about 200 to 250 kilograms. It seems that this missile can carry nuclear or conventional warheads. It is a fire-and-forget type missile. It uses a satellite guidance at the initial stage of the flight and active radar guidance when it approaches a target. This missile uses a Russian sea skimming cruise missile technology. It can fly at altitude from 5 to 14,000 meters above the sea level. At the final stage of the flight it has minimum altitude. Also it can maneuver at supersonic speed before hitting the target. Close-in weapon systems might not be effective against this missile as it travels too fast. Also this missile can be used in electronic countermeasures environment. So it might be a hard nut for air defense systems to intercept. The launcher vehicle is based on a Belarusian MZKT-7930 heavy high mobility chassis. Vehicle has good cross-country mobility and can operate over rough terrain. The TEL vehicle is operated by a crew of three, including commander, operator and driver. The TEL vehicle can launch its missiles within five minutes from traveling. Vehicle has a vertical launch configuration. It can launch both missiles with short interval of two to five seconds between the launches. The missile can be used up to a sea state seven. The mobile launcher can remain on active standby over a period of three to five days. Once supported by a combat duty support vehicle, the Bastion P launchers can remain on active standby for up to 30 days. A battery of Bastion P consists of four mobile launchers, one to two command and control vehicles, one support vehicle, four transloaders. Launcher vehicles can be located up to 25 kilometers away from the command and control vehicles. The whole Bastion P battery is controlled from the main naval headquarters. If required launcher vehicles can operate autonomously. Also Russians propose additional over-the-horizon radar for the Bastion P. A mobile version is based on the same MZKT 7938 x 8 high-mobility chassis. Alternatively Russians their Ka-31 airborne early warning helicopter for this role. Russian military operates a broadly similar ball coastal defense missile system, which was adopted in 2004. It uses less capable KH-35 anti-ship cruise missiles, but carries eight missiles per launcher vehicle. 